The Hanover Area YMCA encourages healthy living. <sighs> and no member embodies that more than Les Savino. You don't really get the full effect of Les till you meet Les. From 7.30 to 10 in the morning. I have a routine. I go from one to the next to the next. <laughs> and if you disrupt that, you spoil my day. That's one 15, that's one set. I do three sets, 45 reps. Five days a week, <sighs> you can find less here. 85 pound weight. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I lift weights. And Tuesdays and Thursdays is aerobic, aerobic exercises. He's here so often, they named the gym after him. I'm embarrassed. I'm a humble fella. I, just, I don't want any, say it, John. I don't want any notoriety. I just want to sit in my little corner. I only got 25 years to catch up with you. So. Right? I'll wait. I'll wait for you. His friends have come and gone. Well, we used to, but I've, I've outlived them all. You know? But since 1983, this room has been his constant. I used to do a lot of work with dumbbells, but with my balance, I, if, if I pick up a dumbbell, I fall over. So I, I stopped doing that when I was 100. <laughs> Yes, less is 100, past the century mark this August. Exercising is the best healer there is, better than medicine. He lives alone, drives himself here every morning. And it's hard work. I don't look forward to getting up every morning at the crack of dawn to come in here and abuse my body, but that's what you have to do. <laughs> and Les knows a little something about hard work. Enlisting in the military, where he served as a B-17 pilot in World War II. Then a career as a food technologist until retiring at age 83. Les was married and raised four kids. 70 years. Or as her name was Barbara. She was my childhood sweetheart. I, we started dating when, when uh, we were seniors in high school. This Thanksgiving, he thinks of his Barbara. My wife used to do all the cooking. She passed away 11 or 12 years ago, so now I do it. But his kids think of him. Now this year, my kids said, Dad, you're not cooking the turkey this year. You're 100. What's that have to do with it? At home or in the gym, Hanover Century Man never uses his age as an excuse. If I'm going to be living, I'm going to enjoy life. If I don't enjoy life, I don't want to be around.